Hey guys, it's Lucas Yums here, and today we have another Yums box. Hello! I'm Colin. Yep. Lucas so, never introduces me, so I have to do it myself. Just dig it Italy! Huh? Oh, Woohoo! Let's see what we get. <laughs> Hola! Hola. Ciao! Yeah, it's not Hola, it's Ciao. We've uh, been there, you should know that. We've been there, I've been there twice. Lucas has been there once. Oh. Amaratini, these are delicious. We should recognize some of these snacks. M Moretta. I don't recognize uh, any of these. I don't know any of these. Yeah. Amica, chips, paprika, amici, amica, amica, amica. It's not an I. It's That's right, it's not an I. Oh, Knox is getting the box. All right, we're getting to it. Yeah. What's trained in Italy, in Italian, and Italiano? I don't train? know Italian. Train? I don't know train. Train like treno? Like the like the choo choo train? Yeah. Ferrocarril. Oh, that's like Spanish, right? That is, I think, Mexican Spanish. In oh. fact. Um, maybe I don't know. That's what I learned in high school. All right, all aboard the tribute train. Are we gonna do a choo choo? No, no, no never. Not. We never do that. Why change? Why change perfection? Before Italians started using tomato sauce, they topped their pasta with cinnamon, honey, fruit, or olive oil. I mean, I guess olive oil. Yeah, olive oil, sure. But all the above. Oh. Maybe, right? No. But honey they would have had, and olive oil they definitely had, right? I guess it's D. The Romans did D, right? Sure. B, honey. Oh. When the Arabs first brought pasta to Italy in the 13th century, it was served as a sweet dish doused in honey or sugar, or both. Naturally enjoying such a dish was a sticky affair, so people would eat it by raising an arm and tilting their heads back to catch the dangling noodles. Oh. Like this? this? No, like up. Like They'll tilt your head back. Around. Like, you know, you do this and you go, oh, oh. I see. <clears throat> wow. uh, when tomatoes came onto the culinary scene in the 1700s from... Spain? North America. They took the country by storm, and the original sweet version was mostly forgotten. But who knows? Maybe honey pasta will make a comeback someday. I don't think so. Max made that honey pasta the other day. It was when like Mc honey egg stuff, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, the egg. It wasn't egg pasta, stuff. exactly. When McDonald's opened its first Italian location in 1986, some protested by setting fire to hamburgers, Maybe. singing from the Italian... Singing the Italian national anthem, like, come on. Il Forno. <clears throat> Serving spaghetti sure. outside, throwing tiramisu at the front door, and, and that's the last option. All the above. I don't spaghetti know. One. Serving spaghetti outside. Sure. A group of Italians cooked spaghetti to per a perfect al dente, then served it to would be patrons. Many Romans were. A Romans? Like people from Rome? People from uh, Rome were outraged by the restaurant in 1986, uh, calling it a degradation of Rome we and saw, Americanization of Italian culture. We saw a McDonald's in like every train station. Yeah, and there was this weird They were like, pretty popular, right? Bakery attached to the one in well, Florence. I feel like all the uh, the American, like the stuff that we would recognize as Italian, or as, as McDonald's rather, right. was way in the back, nobody was ordering it. And then there was basically a, a little, yeah, like a patisserie kind of a thing. I got this front. potato pizza looking thing. Yeah, it was like, it was like, and it was all local food that you would get at any other Italian place. Yeah. Just, it happened to be at a McDonald's. That was my experience with McDonald's. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, three. Rome is home to the wealthiest blank in the world. A, bear, B, cat, C, porcupine, D, dog. The well, dog. Orso. Porcupine. I don't know porcupine in, Spa in Italian. What is it? I don't know. I just made that. You just, just made that up. I just said porcupine in an Italian. <coughs> um, B. Cat. Oh. The one none of us get. Tommaso. 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 The black cat had a rough start. Living his early life on the streets of Rome. But his life changed when Maria Assunta took him in and showed him all the love a kitty could ask for. Maria's affection for Tommaso was so great that when she passed at age 94, she left her entire $13 million fortune. 
Now Tommaso sits in the lap of luxury, as well as the lap of Maria's nurse, who manages the trust, since cats aren't great at money management. That's a pretty good one. Italy, so dumb. Yeah. A cat and a nurse. So dumb. Italy holds a, a record for the world's largest truffle, pizza, wine bottle, or wheel of cheese. Pizza. All the above. Wine bottle. It's gotta be all of the above. A and B. Has it ever happened before? Pizza and wheel of cheese. That makes nope. sense. No, no, truffle and pizza. Truffle? That's right. It only holds not one, but two food related world records. All right. The biggest truffle ever was found in central Italy, weighing in four, four and sixteen hundred pounds. That's what? Huge. What? 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 Four point one six. Four point one six pounds. Wow. I thought you said four and sixteen hundred pounds. Yeah, me too. I said hundreds. Which is hundreds. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Gotcha. Like four point one six. Yeah. Gotcha. Yes. And okay. sold for a whopping sixty one thousand two hundred fifty. Wow. Can you imagine oh, that. Jesus. As for the world's largest pizza, it wow. was over one hundred and thirty one feet in diameter. Naples, right? It consisted of nine. 19,800 pounds of mozzarella. They use like sterno a, cans or something. 1,500 pounds of margarine. Ooh, margarine. Margarine? And 550 pounds of rock salt. Since no one what? could ever possibly contain a pizza that big, it had to be cooked in 500 se separate batches. Yeah. Mamma <clears throat> Mama mia, that's a big a pizza. What do you, oh, nice. Wow. What do you use margarine for in pizza? I guess in place of the olive oil? Yeah, it's so gross. Just in 1325, two Italian city-states fought a war known as the Battle of, for Tomatoes. <clears throat> no, there were no tomatoes in Europe at that point. B, the spoiling of the cheese, perhaps. The War of the Saddle, perhaps. The War of the Bucket. The War of the Bucket. I think it's the cheese. Bucket. Cheese, I'm going to go with the cheese one. It is the Bucket. Okay. Yeah. I knew that. Um, did Bologna and Modena really go to war over a bucket? Not exactly. A common myth states that the war was triggered by the Modenese stealing a bucket from the Bolognese, but that part actually happened much later. Mm. It's most likely the bucket was stolen as a trophy after the war had already ended. Even so, the name stuck. And you can even see the bucket for yourself at Torre della Girlandia. Torre della Girlandina. No. Girlandina in Modena. Add that to your bucket list. Oh, God. <laughs> which of the <clears throat> which like, of the you don't realize when you're reading it. Yeah. It's only like the second after you're done reading so it. Like, and oh, you're like, oh, God, what I did I just, just do? Pun. Which of the following was pi pioneered in ancient Rome? Fast food restaurants. Fast food restaurants. Yeah, that's correct. Fusion restaurants. No. Gastro pubs no. and ghost kitchens. No. What's a it's ghost absurd. kitchen? Absurd. Is that where it's all dark? No, a ghost kitchen is like a rest, like let's say a McDonald's. Yeah. The people who own the McDonald's would rent out to like a small um, restaurant, and they would come in and do all their cooking stuff in the McDonald's, and then do only online orders. Oh. So they wouldn't have their own restaurant. So, but they could use all the stuff the McDonald's had. Oh, and okay. Like pay the, right. the manager or whatever. Like the okay. pop-up kind of at our house, but different? Sort of. Sort of, kind of. Think fast food is a modern innovation? It's not. An yeah, it's not. The ancient Romans would like to have a word with you. Eating those... True. Uh, eating establishments known as thermopolia were super popular among the common folk of Rome, especially those who didn't have a kitchen. Jars of food would be presented at a counter for customers to purchase. Sometimes the counters were decorated with Frescoes depicting yeah, kinds of they're food. They're still there. Sold. We saw them in Yeah, we um, saw in Pompeii. In Pompeii, yeah. They were excavating them. Yeah. Look at a modern day fast food menu and feel and it feels like not it's much. The same has sort changed. of thing. Yeah. Who said the Told and Stone guy has done that? Um, yeah. Uh, Italy produces more blank than any other country. A cheese, B milk, C tomatoes, or D wine. Wine. No, 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 because the French maybe. I don't know. It could be all of the above. I don't know. I don't it could be cheese? I'm sticking with wine. I'm going to go with cheese. D, wine. Wow. You know what? It's because they've got the whole Mediterranean climate for the right. for the wine, maybe? Okay. Mm -hmm. What's better than a glass of Italian wine? Two glasses of Italian wine. What? Oh, let's get drunk. <laughs> all right. Uh, and if you're in Italy, you'll likely have even more than that because the country produces 25% of the entire global supply. 
of wine or of Italian wine? I feel like Italy produces 100% of all the Italian yeah, wine. What? But whatever. Not only that, but Italy is also home to over 500 different grape varieties, so the sky's the limit when it comes to crafting unique vintages. Saluti! I guess Salute? It says saluti. Blank was first invented in Italy. Slapstick comedy, mm -hmm. batteries, mm -hmm. eyeglasses, and thermometers. Uh, batteries? All the above? Going. Slapstick. A oh, Volta, right? All of the above. You both are right. Italian inventors have created so many inventions that we actually couldn't fit them all on the trivia train. With great minds like Galileo Galilei and Salvino da Armati in Italian Italy's history, it's no wonder this country birthed so many important Paris. innovations. Birth. Oh, birthed. Sorry. A few, a few other notable examples include the radio, newspapers, and most importantly, espresso machines. Oh my God. Coffee's good, but... It's not that good. It's not as good as radio. You think, like... Yeah, yeah. And it's not as good as, Because radio like, lets us... Telescopes? Telescopes? Really, telescopes were a, a, a Netherlandish. Yeah, I guess. What's his name? Leeuwenhoek, right? Which the mic was... Whatever. And then they pointed it up. Anyway, I don't know. I don't know. Is that right? All right, let's go. Let's get started. Amaretini Almond Cookies, Italy's Tastiest Love Story. Here we go. Did we have these um, in our special Italian episode? No. Ooh. I'm pretty sure I tried to buy all things you hadn't tried before. Oh, and we man. had these in previous young boxes. These are a little, these are a little mushed oh, in no. cash. They're like cookie crisp. Oh, I dropped me right in the glasses. Holy crap. <laughs> Wow. It's like knocked her glasses <laughs> off. Wow. I heard it too. Yeah, yeah, there's like a spot on them. There's like, <laughs> there's like a chip in the glasses. Oh. Sorry. I didn't realize. I've been going to the this. gym. What yeah. did I say? It was really hardcore. All right. Three, two, one. All right. I'm going to need a break. What do you want? I hate Amaretto. I'm sorry. Really? I don't oh, like, you don't like those? those? Oh, they're so good. I love those. They're like little teardrops of... Um, what would you call them? Amaretto? Meringue? Amaretto oh yeah, they are like meringue. It is meringue, right? Yeah. Oh, they're awesome. They're crunchy. Yeah. Pizza flavor. They're like, um, I guess they're like lady fingers, essentially. I guess a little bit. Yeah. These are like tomato Amica. flavored something. They smell good. They smell like, they smell like, uh, they smell like they goldfish. They smell like pizza. They smell like pizza goldfish. Oh. You want, I don't you know. You want to chuck another one at my face? Oh, I caught it. Yeah. Three, two. These are round guys. I don't have to show them, right? You want me to show them? Okay, you got it. Oh, you're good. Oh. oh. Those are good. Those are good. I like those. They're very tomato-y. They're, They're better they than are. the goldfish. They're better than the goldfish. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, that's very good. The tomato, it's, it's like, I don't know. Yeah, it reminds me a little of pizza from Italy. I mean, not, you know, not completely, but... Uh, uh, paprika chips. This is like, I don't think I've ever seen this few ingredients on a yum's thing. It's potatoes, sunflower oil, paprika, salt, and paprika extract. That's it. That's tiny. That's There's a... usually like a hundred ingredients on these things. A lot of these don't, like, look, this one right here, there's not many. Yeah, it's nice. Nice to see some, some low ingredients. Uh... There's not like nitroglycerin extract. <laughs> Burn your mouth on. Wow. Burn your mouth. What was that? <laughs> All right. All right. Here. These are just potato chips. Oh, this one's heart shaped. I have to show you. Two, one. This one's no. Whatever. Um, it's not bad. It's not good. They're a little bland compared to what we just tried. No. I, the yeah, Amica, the pizza, the Amica pizza rings are much better. Much better, yeah. In terms of, I mean, these are, I can't even taste the paprika, really. It's just barbecue. It's, it's very smell. subtle. No, I can't smell the paprika. I it smells more oily, honestly, yeah. I think. Ooh. Chocolate tiramisu cream cake. All right, this is going to be good. And you probably won't like it. Maybe there's gel in I won't have to eat it. Hopefully not. Agar, agar. The problem is, right, tiramisu, if you're aware, is, uh, well, 
excuse me, well known for its coffee flavor, which as you have seen in, which one was it? The recent episode uh, from- It's a little cake. I don't know, wherever. Three, two, oh, one. Okay. Mm. Oh, that's good. It's okay. Yeah, it's For good. something that has a hint of coffee in it. Oh, it's much better than, what was that thing? It was like that coffee chew. Oh, yeah. It was so bad. It was like eating a, it was like chewing on a cup of coffee. Mm -hmm. This is way more chocolate forward. Yeah, it is a chocolate tiramisu. Right. I said that. Yeah, but tiramisu is, is lady, technically is lady fingers covered in, or dipped in coffee. Which is so Coffee delicious. is like the 10th ingredient on here, which mm -hmm. is, which is nice. I love tiramisu. You know who loves tiramisu? Sean. Sean loves tiramisu. Sure does. I mean, all three He's of us crazy love tiramisu. With, but he tiramisu. really, every single Italian restaurant he goes to, he wants tiramisu. Yeah, where did he get that one? In um. In Canada, right? No, 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 no. no. The one in in Rehoboth. Rehoboth. Right. In Rehoboth. Yeah, that's right. He went, he went crazy for that one out there. All right. Um, I don't. Oh my gosh. What's, What's up next? What is this? Raw. Sorry, everybody. Hazel nuts. This is. Nocciolato. Oh. Novi. Chocolate and hazelnut. Chocolate passion since 1903. Okay. Yeah. It's got a little it's got a little compass rose on the, yeah. on the, oh, on yeah. the thing. It's got whole hazelnuts in it. Which I don't, I'm not a fan of, but I mean, it's great. Whatever. I mean It's fine. It's chocolate. It's a hunk mm -hmm. of Nutella. Or Nutella, yeah. Yeah. That's good. I mean that's that's really good. All right. All right. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is a good yum box. I feel like. <laughs> yeah. What is happening? Put this over here. You're probably gonna check. Want to check the fruit juice? Yeah, the fruit juice could have. Nope. We're good. We're good. Packed in. Nice. Well done for once. Yum's sugar or young. Yum's? Yum's. Uh, Yum's. Are there three of these? That's nice. Yum's uh, purchase person. Yum, yum's purchase? You know, Yum's purchase, Yum's food selector person. Picked a whole bunch of um, non, um, or picked a whole bunch of vegetarian stuff. Big fruits. Oh, this smells good. This is like, I don't know what flavor this is. It is. This looks like Tur Turkish delight. Yeah, it does look like. This is. I don't know. It looks oh, strawberry. Yeah. It does look like Turkish delight. Three, two, one. Oh, oh sorry. Oh, yeah, that's good. Mm. Did you just take the last mm -hmm. one and put it in your pocket? <laughs> wow. That's really good. Yeah, those are good. Italian fruit jellies. Yeah, those are tasty. Yeah. From Dufour. Big fruit. Merbita. Jelly. Oh, frutto lampone. It's good, yeah. Made in Italy. Oh, uh, that's unsurprising. Serrada, Serravale. What? 73, Novi Ligore. Oh, that's a different thing. Oh, yeah. I don't know where that is. Novi Ligore. New, New Ligore? I don't know where that is. Somewhere in Italy. Very, very good. Those are great. They're like really fruity. Yeah, they're, they're not really too good. sweet, and they're very like um, they're soft. Yeah, they're soft and they're. Um, are they're you talking about the thing mouth. we all just tried? Yeah. Did we each get a different flavor? I don't know. Because yeah. you and me got the same flavor, and then you got a blue one. Mine was like yeah, like purplish, I guess. Mine I don't was know. like wine flavored almost. Oh, this yeah, no, mine was not wine flavored. Mm -hmm. Those are good. We have the cat here being crazy. Hopefully he is not knocking over too much stuff. These are milk chocolate, um, milk chocolate popcorn balls. Popcorn bites, you're right, it does say that. Salty popcorn cream in a chocolate shell. This is gonna be weird. Don't, don't do that, don't do that. They're gonna don't do that. It's gonna melt. Yes. Yeah, these are totally fine. All right, weird, okay. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll bite half and throw the rest of them out. Oh. What? It's fine if you can't. Just eat it. It's fine. 
All right, you're gonna have to catch it. Or I caught it. Oh, weird. It is weird. It's like, it's like a, a truffle. It's good. I don't like this. It's like a. It's like those things like what, a mothball almost. But it's kind of salty and buttery. Yeah. It's like a good it's dive a of truffle. Yeah. What? Like a good dive of truffle, but with popcorn in it. It yeah, doesn't I, taste I, like really popcorn. Good. Not popcorn. No, like, but you said buttery flavor. It's fake. It's it's really I don't know. That's weird. It doesn't taste like it's not it's actually like rice. Popcorn. It's like the rice yeah. crunchy things in a crunch bar. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Yeah, it's more like that than it's maybe it's like puffed corn, like in corn pops or something. I don't know. I don't know. That was good, man. Italy. Ooh. Did not disappoint. Really, a big comeback from what was the last one? But I couldn't eat anything. That was two ones ago. Was it South Korea? No. Maybe. I was very disappointed. But this one really, really brought it. Really brought their A game. Hit the spot. That's what yeah. you expect from the Italians. Um, Mom, yeah. you're an Ita Italian. It's true. Wow. I'm not in quotes. Scare quotes. My, my, my grandparents lived there. All right. Well, you're well, like 25% Italian. Yeah. All right. Um, or 50%. I don't know. Whatever. 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 Are we gonna do roses and thorns? Yeah, it's time, everybody. Yeah. It is time. Um, just no. Oh my God. Make it a video. I know. Make it a video here. And. All right. Um. What's your thorn? Excuse me. Sorry. Some burps. Um. My my thorn. I don't think I have a thorn. Maybe the, I don't even know. Even the, well, I don't know. I guess, the, I don't know. The stages of denial. The cake, the chip, sorry. The cake and or the potato chips, but like they're, like if pressed, like there's there's so much more. I, I'm not going to go with, I don't have a thorn. Oh, first have, time ever. No, I, there's definitely another time where I What is Nox doing, Mom? But, um. Play. I, um, if I had to pick one, I would say the, um, the potato chips just were a little bland. Yeah. But, yeah, yeah nothing was bad. I mean, I, I would, would eat them. I would eat all of the things that we got in the box. Yeah. For sure. Like, I, yeah. There's definitely boxes before where I'd be like, I'm just not going to finish that. Yeah. But I would definitely eat those potato all chips. All of this is going to be gone. Yeah. I'll be taking this. All right, so what's yeah. your thorn if you have one with it? Yeah, you don't like. I don't those. like you don't amaretto. Like I don't like crazy. That's fine. Amaretto cookie. I don't like almonds. Right. Right. Well, that I don't like be a many. Problem. I don't like eating nuts. Yeah. To be honest. Yeah. So. Um. What? Go ahead. What? what? Is your rose? So it's our rose. Oh, that's a tough one. So I'm gonna just automatically exclude all the chocolate because it's it's great. Um, and I love chocolate. So, like, that's just, like, one thing. is like, the chocolate. And then, like, right below that is what I'm going to talk about, which is the pizza-flavored corn rings. Definitely. Because that was, that was both, that was a surprise, and it was good. Like, it was a delicious surprise. Like, I was like, oh, these aren't going to be very good. And then even when I smell them, I'm like, this is going to be, like, basically goldfish. And then you taste them, you're like, it's much more, like, tomato-y and kind of bright and fresh. It's rich. And, it's rich. Yeah, it's really good. They're it's, really good. It's very... Very um, surprising. Uh, so I'm going to go with the, the potato... The Sorry, the corn, not potato. The pizza-flavored corn rings from Amiga. Yeah. 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 Um, I am similarly going to take the amaretto drop things off of the running because they're just a perennial favorite, mm. and so I'm also voting for the pizza, uh, uh, pizza rings. Pizza rings. They're awesome. Yeah. They're really good. I hope there's going to be one left after this. There's a ton in here. Yeah, yeah we some. get a lot. All right. What about you, Lucas? It's a tie between the pizza... <clears throat> it's a tie between the pizza rings and the jelly things. The jellies were really good as well. Yeah. Uh, definitely good. an honorable mention for the jellies. Definitely. Um, but so yeah, I, jelly if I, I had to choose eat. one or two, I'd choose the pizza ring. Because they're yeah. salty, they're flavorful, they're... It's... It's... An enriched and elevated taste experience. Wow. 
like it's elevated higher than the goldfish. It's a better taste experience. And yes. Yeah. Well, you don't like pizza goldfish, right? Yeah, and I like these. Yeah. So there you go. All right. Cool. Wow. Italy for the win. Italy for the win. We'll see. Maybe this bodes well for their World <coughs> Cup. Are they even in the World Cup? They must be, right? I have no idea. Yeah, I don't know. I, don't know. I think it's going to be France. That's my prediction right now. Okay. Who's we'll like see. in the runnings right now? Pretty much everybody, except the Russians. Oh, did, 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 did they get kicked out? They got kicked out. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. I didn't realize Ukraine was in the World Cup. Are they? Would they? I don't think they are. I'm oh, not sure. well, you said everybody is, so he must have assumed oh, yeah. that no, to mean everybody no, no. is. Like all the people who are like Wales, England, Germany, Spain, Spain. Uh, I have no idea Australia. The US had I guess a theoretically US Iran could Spain. even do it now, but I don't. I don't know. I forget. I don't know. Whatever. Saudi Arabia is out though, right? They lost. Saudi Arabia won, and then they lost to Poland. The Green Falcons oh. lost to Poland, but they beat Argentina. They beat? Right? Argentina? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. I thought it was like a round robin. Like every time you lose, you're just out. No. The first, there's the there's the uh, group stage where all the teams who made it into the World Cup, they play, they're, you're separated into groups of four, and each one of those teams plays each other. Right. And I then see. based on that, I think like the, the top two, two go right. forward. And so like, and then, and then it's knockout after that. So I see. Okay, cool. Goes. Uh, well, thank you guys. There you go, World Cup, World Cup watching, primer, everybody. And I'll see you next time on. Wait, wait, Lucas like Young. Comment, also call to action. Call to like action. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. It's a little. See you next know. time on Lucas Young. Bye, everybody. Goodbye.